warn you this was happening. Cortana is no longer an asset, Captain. She is a danger. She has access to the Forerunner domain, a galaxy-spanning network Cortana's that alive? allows her to control whatever devices caused this damage. How is she? The Master Chief believes she contacted him. John must not speak to her. He's gone in search of her. You let him go? How is Nobody it Nobody lets the chief do anything. He does what he wants. And until 0631 this morning, when he was declared absent without leave. This isn't about the master John chief. John is not equipped emotionally to deal with her as a threat. Hey! Is anyone gonna answer me? You're out of line, Roland. Yes, sir. But so is everyone else. You created Cortana, Doc. And now you're throwing her out the airlock with these accusations. Roland. You think she tricked the master chief into abandoning his post? Respectfully, sir, to what end? Why is Cortana the problem? Because she refused to die when she was supposed to? You're okay with this? Not just another target, you know. Every target is just another target, Buck. Yeah. For you, maybe. And I love being an ODST. Just point and shoot. None of this gray area BS. I mean, how are we even supposed to bring them in? Ask politely? No. The hell? Armor restraint. Short circuit their suit systems. The lock. Every other Spartan, every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? You're not the only one here because of him. Chipping away the glass, making her livable. Why are we taking the long way down? Because it's polite. Grew up on an indie colony like Meridian. Folks out here don't take well to the UNSC landing in the middle of town. Tend to see it as an act of aggression. Speaking of acts of aggression... Those are Forerunner ships. What the hell are Forerunners doing here? Maybe we're not the only ones here for the Master Chief. Whoever the hell is on my elevator, identify yourself. This is Spartan Jameson Locke, UNSC. Fuck, a lot of you. To whom am I speaking? This is Gunnar Sloan, and you... Governor didn't seem to want our help. Well, he's gonna get it anyway. Spartans? What the hell are Spartans doing here? What's going on? Meridian Station's under attack. Sloan's trying to put up a fight. I, I got family up there. They ain't armed. Osiris, the people of Meridian Station need our assistance. What the hell are those things? Sloan to all hands. Take up defensive positions. Do not panic. Meridian Control, we need you to open the doors to the space elevator. But it's overrun! Open the doors so we can help. Damn it, Kyle! Do it! Fine, go!
down the security system. Yeah, eliminate the threat, then lock down in. Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and god this looks weird because I'm talking into Audacity this time. Uh, as you know, I've had a little few recording issues if I try and record using Vegas. I have no idea what's causing it. Um, where the audio and video get out of sync for some reason. Uh, so I'm trying Audacity, which is the program I use for the actual live Let's Plays. Of course, these are pre-recorded because... I just did that because of how long Halo levels are. Although this one isn't. Uh, well, this is part 5 of Halo 5 Guardians. And this level is called uh, Glast. And the part of the level, I say part of the level, it's only one part. But it's, uh, it's called Strangers in a Distant Land. As you saw before the intro. Uh, I was thinking of possibly putting the intro uh, after the cutscene. But I always put it after the first bit where it appears. So that's why you got a little bit of gameplay content beforehand. And uh, hello to anyone that has just decided to subscribe because you found it off the Trump video. Um, I assume you know that this channel is gaming and is not politics related in any... Well, no, there's a few politics videos on this channel. But nothing huge. Um, basically, I run... I say run. I have a different channel. Um, and I upload some copyright content on there um, that's politics related basically and I noticed um, that the I uploaded like a video like six months ago now and I noticed now it has like 400,000 views so I was like well the new series of the show that it was from is back they're guaranteed to talk about Trump, because it was a Trump video. Uh, let's upload that. And I decided, well, if it's going to get the same amount of views, may as well add the uh, add an end card to the end of it, linking to this channel, which I did. I can't believe I blew myself up here. God, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, the audio and video in this one might not be completely in sync, because I have... Normally, when I do the actual videos live, I do a one, two, three sync. Uh, but this time, of course, I didn't because I had no need for that. It's so weird watching the uh, the playhead in Sony Vegas without the recording uh, symbol, well, the recording wavelengths underneath it, because I'm just so used to doing it for Halo. Uh, speaking of end cards, actually, I just ramble on this if you're new to this series, by the way. Um, speaking of end cards, uh, I, I, I use this as like a, a little vloggy type thing, and I go off track completely, as you just saw. Um, now, speaking of end cards, uh, YouTube is getting rid of annotations. Uh, I don't know if they're going to completely get rid of the ones that are already on videos. I hope not, because we actually have... We used to have end cards at the end of videos that used annotations, because that was the only way to do it uh, back then. And then after the PC broke, which was... God, that was September last year. It kind of stopped. So... I, uh... You know, I stopped doing it because I lost the template and I was like, I can't be bothered making that template from scratch again. So I... I didn't make one, and I know there hasn't been any end cards on videos. But... Uh, now that YouTube is getting rid of annotations, I'm literally on the page right now. It just It's playing a video. I don't want it to play a video. It's playing yesterday's video because it's one that I clicked on. Uh, it says, the ability to add or edit annotations will no longer be available after the 2nd of May. Any existing annotations will remain. Okay, well that's good. So those will stay on there. The problem, of course, with the annotations is that uh, they didn't work on mobile devices at all. I don't know why YouTube couldn't have figured that out and made it work on mobile devices, but apparently they could not. Y you'd think of all the money that Google has that they would be able to. Um, maybe they just thought they weren't very good. Um, and of course, there was the issue of people putting huge annotations across the screen that said click here that would send you like to scam sites and stuff um, 
So, I guess if they were on mobile, you wouldn't be able to click them out of the way to actually see the video. So that's, that's useful, I guess, if they are getting rid of them. I will miss them. They've been a staple of YouTube for years. I don't know if they were there on launch. I don't think they were. Um, although that red versus blue video on how to make a YouTube video is going to be a bit... Well, I, I assume it's completely out of date now anyway. But there's a, there's a bit where it's like, you can... Because uh, it's a parody. They're like, you can put text over the video like this. And then just, like, messes up with annotations. Um, I don't actually know how... Well, I assume they did that in, like, a... I thought they just copied them straight from YouTube, but they must have done them, actually, uh, in... in their editing software. God, I... wish I knew how many tracks that was. Tracks of footage... Oh, God. <laughs> Anyone that doesn't, like, edit content you have no idea like it, it it's somewhat difficult editing um honestly and the truth is and i can't believe i'm saying this once you get a huge project with so much editing in it you will be surprised like i i was working on something before i was i guess you could call it a tv show it wasn't a tv show um, I was making a pilot episode for a TV show, and we never finished it. Um, but I was working because we ran out of money. But the uh, the guy, uh, the executive producer, was like, "Oh, you want to edit this?" And I was like, "Well, I like editing." So I did it. The amount of visual effects meant in Sony Vegas, and we had about seventy-five percent of it completed. And of course, it no longer exists anymore because it was all on that piece, the PC when it went uh, which kind of sucks but the amount of tracks that it had uh, so this is video and audio tracks was a hundred and thirty seven I think in total because the TV company because we did get in contact with the TV company we got their guidelines of what they wanted if they were to broadcast it and uh, those guidelines, oh they're fun. Oh you need to get the black level at exactly this level. Well guess what, Sony Vegas for some reason doesn't have that tool. Oh, you, you want that tool. Um, oh, you have to pay an additional like thousand pound for it. But there's like, this sounds like, well we'll figure that out once the thing's finished. No need to spend the thousand pound if we you know. If it's not gonna work, but uh, I guess it never it never finished anyway, so I'm glad we didn't spend that thousand pound. It would be a complete waste of time. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, they they wanted 5.1 surround sound. Understandable. Apart from the fact that... Uh, well, Vegas can support 5.1. It's designed for that. It was, Vegas was originally designed for audio editing. So it can clearly do lots of audio trickery. It's better than most uh, video editors, audio-wise. I don't know how I flipped up there. But, um... <sighs> That's fun. They, they wanted a specific limit. They wanted, like, a free decibel limit on it. Vegas can do that? Um... Not very well, though. It will just cause clipping. Um... Even if the file is nowhere near the limit for some reason. I don't know if my copy of Vegas was messed up at the time. But, uh, yeah, in, I never had to do that before. So I don't know if that's just how that works. But I'm not an audio engineer. I'm a video guy, to be honest. But, yeah, free oh, I didn't even realise there was a return to the battlefield thing on the screen there. Like, I never even saw that. They want you in a specific place. Well, that means you can't backtrack. I guess the game was deloading the level. No, there'll be more of them. God, when you're just paying attention to the game, there's so many visual effects in this game that you don't even realise. Like, the return to Batfoot. Didn't even see it. Um, where the ground was vibrating slightly there. Didn't even realise it because I was staring at the Warthog. But yeah, I was trying to say earlier, this is kind of a two-part level. 
like the next level has a different name but it's the same path because I get the achievement for this at the end of this level but I don't like there's no cutscene or anything it just carries on and I hate Halo levels that do that because it's way more work for me because I can't actually put anything before the intro apart from the uh, bit on the screen when it pops up Also, I wish those Promethean Knights were easier to kill. I mean, you're firing a bloody... What's it? A, a minigun at them. You'd think they'd be easier to kill. I guess that's... Well, look, the uh, the crawlers are easy to kill. But the knights aren't, really, to be honest. So don't even bother going into them with the... Uh, the uh, normal UNFC weapons. You can tell that I kind of get run out of things to talk about by this point. I don't know what tomorrow's video will be. Um, I'm thinking it will be a Ratchet Clank. Could be wrong on that. It might be a First Impressions Friday. I know it won't be a Friday. But I got a game called... I don't know if I will release it on Friday. I'll release that video on Friday. I haven't recorded it yet. But I'll... Uh, I will release that video on Friday of that game. I don't know how I'm going to record it. I assume with the Elgato. But that causes a tiny bit of lag, so if I suck. That's why. Anyway, I can tell that the end of the video is coming off. Um, yeah, that guy doesn't really like us. I don't blame him, actually, if you read the, uh, the Halo Mythology. Which is what you need to do for... Like, Halo 1, 2, and 3, you're fine. Even Halo Reach you will find, but uh, 4 and 5, you do need to read the books and stuff, or at least read the wiki to get a bit of backstory. I'm good at yours, I'm great. Anyway. God. <laughs> I've been. I didn't get much sleep last night. Anyway, I've been Rob. I've been from the inside.